Alright, so we are back where we left off, and I guess it's time to try that gym course out. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. I like how they call them eaters. <clears throat> try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad. For a noob. Oh, he's such a funny guy. Uh, uh, what the? Job. Okay, time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Come on. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Huh. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Uh, nice, I guess. All right. Well, we had to fail there, but we did. Now do I do? Back upstairs, I guess.
Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. My first seizure on top of a crane. That's spectacular. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Hmm. Okay. What do you get from a zombie during the winter? I don't know. getting geared up all right they've given me an actual job and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am so far so good and once dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with I'll be even better You're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survived a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> huh. Hmm. 
Who sends the aircraft? The government? Going outside, yeah? I guess so. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Ouch. Okay. Huh. So, got it. That wasn't a jump you could make. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. Oh. I guess we're going there. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden! Are you there? Damn it. Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. <clears throat> We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Hmm. It's a funny old guy. Keep it fast. Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Sp 
Why? This guy? Hey, Spike. I'm Crane. <laughs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two wow, types of airdrops. Okay. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. Hmm. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night, and if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Right now, urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mamar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Just give me a second. here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. All right, well. Jade, it's done. Good. Do we need skills? Here's skills. Survivor agility power. Yes. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Nice. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Nice, we learned a few things. Well, all right, guys, I think that's going to call it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, let me know if you want to see this as a series, um, and uh, leave some uh, info for me in the comments below there, and we'll see you next time.